All right, hi guys, we are back again, and uh, yes, we're going to look at how we can assign tickets to engineer, and um, so they can start working on the ticket. So what I want in this case is I want um, only a global admin, or alternatively only um, a super user to be able to assign tickets to engineers. So I already have a, a super user account, so I just want to keep things very simple. I don't want to. Uh, make things complex by creating roles and um, permissions. I just want to make things very simple. So I would like um, I would like uh, only super users to be able to assign tickets to engineers. So to do that, very easy. Come over to <coughs> VS Code, and um, we're gonna have like a ticket queue, right? So let's just create something here called ticket queue that only um, that only what's it called the um, super user can see. All right, so we're just, we're just gonna do over here, and then we'll just do um, extend based on HTML, and then I'll say block content. Um, and block content, right? Okay, um, so before we do that, let's come over to dashboard and then let's just quickly create another view. So we'll come over here and then we'll just do a live request dot user that is, I think is how to do it. But if it crashes, we'll just review it again, All right? Um, so we can just say return render requests. And here we just, we just have a um, dashboard super user or let's just call it admin dashboard not just terminal all right okay cool so um okay so let's just quickly do this ticket queue thingy let's see how it works right Okay, so I need to do um, admin dashboard here. Just tell me all. Hold on. Okay. So I can just come over here though. And then just copy everything and paste it in here. All right, so I'll just call this admin dashboard. Um, so this will be tickets queue, all right? Cool, 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 cool. Makes sense. Okay. Um. All right, all right, all right. Okay. So uh, let me just quickly get my HTML very quickly. Um. Hold on. That's what I can't say anything inside there. Hold on. Let me just plug that in. Well, I think I deleted content. Wow, that was weird. Okay, so I think we need to go back again to Bootstrap and then download this again. Let's table, 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 tables. Let's do layouts. Nope. Customize. Nope. Content. No tables. Let's look for something nice. Okay, this one. No, hold on. Let me just go over to this one and copy this one. All right. So come over to VS Code. And uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, okay. <clears throat> Components card. All right. So copy this. Templates. Drop this down. Tickets. Ticket queue. All right, card, mark documents, just come over here to tables, then we'll just copy this. All right, so we'll paste it in here, and then my other thing is cool. So, uh, so this will be like ticket ID. Ticket ID. 
Um, this will be like um, ticket title, um, customer. I'll just make it very short. Um, customer. Let's do the printed. I'll just make it very short. Anyway, it's not too much talk here. Um, so this will just be. Let's make this TD. Alright, so this will be like an anchor tag. And we'll just say um ticket dot tickets, sorry, ticket ID. Alright. So your L is going to be ticket dot no hold on. Sorry, ticket details. Um, ticket dot ticket underscore id. So this will be ticket title ticket sorry ticket dot ticket oh lord title. All right. Then ticket dot customer and then. Ticket dot date created. Okay, so we'll just do this, and yeah, I've got something else to do. So we have to do something here. So we have to do um, a loop. Nope, that's not correct. So ah uh, no, for ticket in tickets. Then we'll just end for here. Okay, see so this so since this will repeat. Alright, so now we've done this, so which means that when we click on this, it takes us to the ticket details and then we can assign to an engineer. Um, but we're going to work on that very shortly. So let's do something. Okay, so uh, okay, hold on, let's try something. Um so let's move over here. And then we'll just see. Call this action. All right, and then TD. So assign to engineer. All right. I don't know what I call this. I think I call this assign engineer tickets dot ticket. I think so. I don't know what I call this. Um, all right, let's see. Uh, okay. Sorry, ticket ID. Not ticket title. All right, so let's see if this is going to work. But before that, let me just quickly check. URL for py, so assign ticket, so assign ticket, right? So I called it there. So assign ticket, not assign engineer. All right, cool. So since we have this sorted out, um, let's try and refresh. So we're gonna do something. We're gonna come over here. So since we're already logging as um, a super user, so this should just take us to the super user, but let me just do something. Um, dashboard. Okay, admin dashboard, right? Cool. So this takes us to the admin dashboard. When we go back like this, you can see admin dashboard. You can see I'm logging as obviously the super user. Makes sense, right? So we can see view active tickets. So we'll click on that, and then we can see um, view active tickets. So we can see date created. Um, let's look at why that is so. Um, um did created let's look at tickets and let's look at the model for py i well, call this created on so come over here and this in here as well too so i want to change this to like a button um btn btn Primary outline, which is small. 
over here and then we can just refresh assign to engineer oops not working um it should be offline and then primary okay let's try again let's see so this should, this should work fine so if i click on this it takes me to um to get an idea obviously this is how it looks like and then i can't see any resolve whatever because it's not uh, assigned to any engineer yet and I'm, and I'm not an engineer i am a super user i can obviously go back and click on assign to engineer uh, it just letting me know that there's no template for that yet. So we're going to create the template very quickly. To do that, um, okay, let's see how we can do this. Um, let's see how we can do this very quickly. Um, you know what? Instead of wasting too much time, let's move to templates, tickets, and then we'll just do sign tickets.html. So let's come over to ticket details. All right. No. Hold on, hold on. So assign tickets, not from ticket details, rather. Let's come over to um, um, create ticket. Assign ticket. We'll paste it in here. Since it's going to be a form. All right. And uh, 11 minutes. Okay. Oof. Okay, so let's come over to our ticket. Let's see what we did there. So tickets, come over to mod form data. So engineer, right? Cool. So assign tickets. Let's look at views. Let me just look at what I did here. Ticket ID, ticket ID instance, ticket. No, this will work fine. So I'll just do instance tickets okay assign ticket for one okay makes sense so come over to assign ticket or html what do we do uh so we can just change the support thingy but let's let's see um we can just call this hold on drop move the tickets okay assign ticket so let's do something Let's also add it to our template. So we'll just a ticket. Makes sense. So assign tickets. So we can just do um, ticket title. So ticket or ticket um, title, right? Uh, so we'll call this engineer. Um, engineer. Okay, I think this will make sense. All right, let's see if it's going to make sense or not. <laughs> okay, all right, cool. So let's just come out of here and then come over here. So let's refresh and assign to engineer. You should see this. So this is a ticket title, so, right? That makes sense. So I can just come over here and something is peculiar here. Now, now you can see that we have um, all our users displayed here. But obviously, this is not uh, this is not an engineer. This is not an engineer. This is a customer. This is a super user. So we just want only the engineers to show up, which is this guy here. So to do that very easily, all we have to do is we have to go back to our VS Code, obviously. Um, come over to um, what is it called again? Views, right? Assign tickets. So just under this ticket here, sorry, under this form, we call assign tickets. All we can do is we can just say form. All right, there's fields. Nope, there's fields, and then we have uh, engineer. All right, uh, dot query set. Okay, and then we can just say before we do anything though, let's let's just bring in. Um, so we'll say from. No, hold on, can't do that here. From Django that country uh, imports the user model. Okay, uh, get user model. Cool. Where's that trying to do? What's it trying to do? Yeah, scientific. Cool. 
So here we're going to say the query set. We're going to say user, all right, dot objects, dot filter, and then is engineer true. So this will only filter out um, objects that have the, engine, the, the its engineer attribute set to true, which will only give us engineer. So let's see this out, see how it works. So let's refresh and then drop this down. You can see we have only engineer showing up here. So we can click on this engineer guy here and then we should click on submit and everything should work fine. So let's just be sure. All right. So if everything works fine, what happens? Ticker key, right? Okay. So um, if everything works fine, I don't want to see this on the ticker queue anymore. How do I install Office apps, right? So let's see. So submit, and you can see it's not showing up on the ticker queue anymore, right? So just this ticket has been assigned to test engineer, blah blah blah. Okay, so when we come over to the engineer side and then we we'll refresh, we should see these tickets uh, at the engineer's end, but it's still showing pending. Um, that's because uh, we didn't do something here. So what we assign to engineer, we want to change the status. That's one thing we didn't do. So we want to do status to active. All right. I mean the little things. <laughs> so uh, status active. All right. Um, so this was so this was still show as pending. That's because we haven't um that's because we already did what we did. <laughs> okay, but let's try this one again. So let's assign to engineer. So we'll click on assign to engineer and obviously we want this guy, engineer one submit, and obviously nothing on the queue because we had all our tickets assigned to our engineers. So we'll click on this one and we should see two tickets here. I can see this one is now active. Makes sense, right? And then we can see, yeah, because we didn't set this one initially, that's why it's changed this way. So we can view details and then you can see it's assigned to test engineer blah 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 or you know, let's just let's, let's do something there let's do ticket details and then just bring it back yes so we can see uh engineer is test engineer one blah 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 working on this ticket and then you can see that he can see this resolution steps here i go to okay um all right, so we're still on CBRECB, everything is intact. And now this, um, our engineer can obviously go over to this uh, customer's table and you know try to understand what the issue is or probably send this customer an email or whatever the case might be. And um, you know, basically move from there. So just one thing that we're missing out. Um, I, want a, I want an instance where a customer raises a ticket and then they receive an email. Right, so we're going to do this from the console back end. Uh, very easy to do, but uh, that will be in our next video. I don't know, I have a little on my finger and it's really painful. I need to take some painkiller. Oh my god. Okay, so when we return, we're going to look at how we can add the email functionality to this. So when you raise a ticket uh, as a customer, you get an email saying that, okay, we've, rece we've received your ticket and engineer will be assigned to you very soon, blah, blah, blah um what else what else what else and yeah basically so let's look at this again from the customer's end let's see how, how it pans out so let's just do test user one at mail.com and then sign in now if you look at active tickets you can see obviously this guy is um test engineer all right and this guy to here is test engineer. Okay, again, this pending is showing here because we didn't we missed some steps before we implemented this. Okay, uh, let's create a new ticket. Let me show you guys how that works. So new ticket, uh, let's do um cannot use team cannot use teams. Uh can I just copy from All right, cool. So we'll just paste this in here. Submit. And we can see this is pending, right? Cannot use Teams. Obviously, at the engineer's end, 
um view active tickets uh okay i think i also need to like restrict this view as well soon okay cool so um from the engineer's end um view active tickets now he can't see anything he can't see the queue nothing right cool so um um so let me just quickly log in as uh, a test i'm um, sorry let me log, log in as a super user and then assign this ticket to the engineer now you can see when i view this as the customer this is all i can see right this is my ticket has been created nothing more i can come over to this one active ticket i can still see the ticket here as well soon right and then the ticket id as well so very important so it's always going to be six people here representing the id Right, and I'm going to always um, view by the ID as you can see here, not the auto fill that Django gives us. So I can just log out here and then sign in as Chidi. All right, um, Chidi. Oh, hold on. <laughs> I think I was in my email. I don't think that email is correct. No, it's not correct. Hey, I forgot in my email though. <laughs> Oh Lord. Yeah. <laughs> Let me try and go back. Let's see that's in the world. Oh, it's in my email. My goodness. Oh my god, I can't. Wait. Oh god, I can't. <laughs> Why? Okay, I think I can see from here though. Yes, that's true. <laughs> see me always panicking. Uh, user account. Chidi. Um, what's my email though? Oh, that's true. I, I don't have an email, so I'll just do the. I'll just uh, create the email. Change it to my user name. That's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. All right. So let me just do that very quickly. Um. So I'll just do admin. And I'll just do a chili. Alright. Let me just change this quickly. Chili. Let me just use it as this. Alright. And then save. So let me just use it. And yes, yeah, so I come over to active tickets, right? Or no, I can just call this ticket queue rather. So come over to dashboard, I mean dashboard, view ticket queue. All right, so come over here and view ticket queue. Now you can see the ticket has been created. You can obviously come over here and then view the ticket. Okay, this is what the customer wants, blah blah blah. And it's still pending. No engineer yet has been assigned to this ticket, as you can see from here. And uh, we can see, okay, cool, no engineer has been assigned to this ticket. We can obviously go back and then assign to the engineer. Come over here, we want to assign to this engineer, and then click on submit. Ticket queue is empty. Then we'll come over to engineers and refresh, and then we can see cannot use teams. Right? View details. And then we can see this from our end as well too. And we can start working on these tickets with the customer. You can see this has been assigned to this engineer here. All right, cool. So when I come back, we're going to explore this further. We're going to be looking at how um, if a customer raises a ticket, we want to send an email to that customer, letting the customer know that a ticket has been raised and an engineer will be assigned to that ticket very soon. And we also want to look at this Marcus Resolve functionality, how we can implement this as well too. And, um, Basically, round up this whole project because I think you know, we've done a lot on this project. So, and yeah, yeah, one more thing before we go actually. So, now we need to know um, the count of, okay, so let's say for example, if, um, okay, so I have this engineer, right? So, this engineer has three tickets. So, I want a way where once the engineer logs in on their dashboard, you know, he or she can see how many uh, tickets he has opened, how many he has closed, how many, blah, 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 right? and um also for the customer end as well too and also a functionality where this customer can decide to change the severity to, to severity a if they want to 
Um, yeah, basically, we're going to look at that functionality as well too and see how that comes out. Alright, you guys, so bye for now and see you in the next video. Cheers.